It's a massive green candle to the upside here for the Bitcoin price. Could the bottom finally be in? Is this a double bottom signal here for Bitcoin? Let's dive in and analyze. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. So let's not waste any time and get right down to it. Well, 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 would you look at that little Jimmy, a massive green candle to the upside, exactly what the doctor ordered. And it is coming in at a point in this trend where we could potentially expect support to come in. You see, we have multiple points of price action confluence dating back into early July. To me, folks, this is the last stand point here. This is the last local line of support that if lost could really, really be detrimental for the Bitcoin price. Meaning that if we lose support here, it's very possible that we could see the trap door open once more just as it opened up here at 30,000 and we could see a flush push down towards maybe 12, 11 or 10,000. I'm not saying that has to happen. In fact, what I'm saying is that this is nice that the bulls held at this level because this level is very important in my opinion. But what you can't lose sight of here is that until proven otherwise, we are still in a bearish downtrend. And how do I know that? Well, it's, it's not even really an opinion. We're still seeing Bitcoin on a series of lower highs and lower lows. Now, what would negate that? Well, first, we'd need to see Bitcoin climb to a new higher high, which for me would be above this prior swing high here at about 25,000. So we'd first need to see it break up above there. And then secondly, we'd be looking for a rejection and then for the bottom to come back in and form a higher low. You see, so we could start to change the trend from a series of lower highs and lower lows to a series of higher highs and higher lows. Let's get this crypto. And some of you are probably wondering, well, Don Don, didn't you say that you were going short here? Didn't you say that you thought the price could move lower and that you were looking to profit lower? Well, yes, I was. And shout out to my VIPs. I told you guys that if there were to be a green candle up, I had already moved my stop loss into profit so that if this did occur, I'd be out for a profit and I'd look for my next trade setup idea. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, stopped out for a small 1.42% profit roughly. And now it's on to the next. Let's get this crypto, the Don struck gold again. Proper risk mitigation is so important. Ladies and gentlemen, in this space, so many people are just absolutely degenerate gamblers praying and hoping for the moon or for nothing. Um, that's not really trading. And I think that's also why people get so crazy over one candlestick like this is because they're not really trading. They're just holding and hoping and praying. So any green candle, they just love to come on these videos. <laughs> Look at the guy. He was short. So what are you telling me that we broke out of this obviously bearish pattern that I've been drawing for you guys for honestly almost months at this point, right? That this was a classic bearish pattern that had a higher probability to break down than to break up, even though we had a series of higher highs and higher lows in a bearish downtrend. When you see a squeezing pennant like this, it's what's known as a bearish rising wedge. We broke down. We perfectly hit the target. I mean, it's literally picture perfect. I mean, for me, the risk of going long here with a trap door possibly getting ready to open, leading to a possible capitulatory event, that, that's absolutely crazy to me. So from a trading standpoint, from a risk mitigation slash risk reward standpoint, I mean, for me, it was short all the way here, set my stop loss, get stopped out for a profit, and now I'm looking for what's going on next. And that's what we're going to get in now. I'd actually like to go over first to the chart of the NASDAQ 100, as you guys know, if you are subscribed to this channel, that Bitcoin has had a very close correlation with the NASDAQ 100. And I'd actually like to take a look at the NASDAQ 100 right now. So this is the monthly chart. Obviously, we've had a ton of volatility here over the past several months. Really, the price has been consolidating within this range of roughly 13,000 down to about 11,000. What I want to do here is pull up this indicator. It's called the CM Williams VIX fix on tradingview.com. And this is using the VIX volatility to try and spot potential market cycle bottoms or, you know, rather 
general bottoms after periods of high volatility. So thing to keep in mind here is that we went from green to gray. All right. Now let's look at all these times throughout history that we went from green to gray. Okay. That was a bottom after a drop. That was a bottom after a drop. That was a bottom after a drop. 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 Really dating all the way back to 2008, there really has only been one time in history, I mean, that I can tell right here that we've essentially seen it not work. Okay. Of course, past performance does not indicate future results. I'm just saying that as bad as the news from the Federal Reserve is that we've been getting, as bad as the economy is looking globally right now with recessions looming, inflation running amok, I'm still giving credit here to the fact that this indicator has been incredibly reliable for over 10 years straight now. Okay, now I get it. This has been one of the largest bull runs in history. So take it with a grain of salt. But the indicator has been so pinpoint accurate. And right now, after several months of consolidation here and seeing this indicator go from green to gray, I mean, it is, in my opinion, not something to overlook in terms of the fact that at least a short term market bottom could possibly be in. And if Bitcoin is going to remain correlated with this index, well then folks, this could be very bullish for Bitcoin moving forward. Let's get this crypto. Just wanted to set the table with that, right? I mean, I have to show some type of bullishness here because there is always the possibility that the Bitcoin bottom could be in. Do I think that's likely? Well, let's go back to Bitcoin now. So if we take a look at Bitcoin on the monthly and take a look at the technical ratings indicator here, I want you to notice something, okay? Throughout history, we've seen in bear markets, generally these turn red on the bottom on the one month candles. And when we go back to blue, the bear market is over, okay? We saw it back here in 2015. We saw it over here in 2019, 2020, and now it's basically what we're waiting for here in 2022, right? I mean, just notice what's happened. We've never had a period in time on the monthly chart where we went from red to blue and that the bear market wasn't over, okay? Again, past performance does not indicate future results. It just hasn't happened throughout Bitcoin's history. And it's possible right now that we are seeing a rounding bottom here. We don't have a blue candle up here yet. I'm just stating that from a historical perspective, if we wind up seeing a blue candle painted here on the monthly technical ratings indicator, this would be absolutely bullish in my opinion, as it's had a legitimately 100% accuracy three times throughout Bitcoin's short history. Okay. Again, Past performance does not indicate future results, but it's possible that we're heading up towards a blue candle if Bitcoin can begin to get some bullish momentum here and close a nice monthly candle. Now, those two things we just looked at, the NASDAQ 100 and the monthly Bitcoin chart, those are more macro, right? And overall, as I painted in the beginning of the video, I mean, we're still in a macro downtrend. So you have to take these things with a grain of salt. Now, from a daily perspective, right? Just understand, folks, that Bitcoin is coming up on a point here of some local possible resistance around the 22,400 level. All right. It really wouldn't be surprising if we got rejected there. And let's just paint these levels. Okay. Boom. And right across the top here. Boom. All right. We have three levels. I'll change the color on this one actually just to make it easier to visualize. Okay. These levels to me are very important. We need to watch this one here at about 22,300 and this one up here in the mid $25,000 range. All right. If Bitcoin continues to ping pong in here, to me, the door is still open for a potential drop down to much lower levels, okay? Getting above this region here, pulling back, possibly creating a higher low and looking to climb could signal to me that the bottom is in, all right? At this point, we're not seeing anything like that. So looking at this trend realistically, I can't change my bias from bearish to bullish yet, as there's nothing in the chart to show me that that's legitimately worth my 
opinion. You understand what I'm saying? And if this does happen to be the bottom here, you have to understand the risk here of trying to pick this bottom right now with limited to no data suggesting that this must be the bottom is extremely risky. Doesn't mean that it can't be the bottom. It's just that the risk associated with going long at this point, in my opinion, is way, way, way outweighing the benefits of waiting for more information and or possibly looking to continue shorting if we find resistance or support breaks, okay, at certain levels. So for me right now, this is just a wait and watch game, okay? This candle to me here, sure, it could be the beginning of something great, but it doesn't really change my outlook moving forward here as it's not structurally changed anything. You understand? Great on the one day time frame, but structurally in terms of what we're looking at with the overall trend, nothing has changed here. So I'm still taking a wait and watch approach. If you take a look at the one day Keltner channels indicator, which again, if you are subscribed to this channel, you would know that this has been a leading indicator for me throughout this entire bear market. The one day Keltner channels indicator has done such a great job of showing overall resistance for the macro trend. I mean, legitimately, basically every time that we've tested up to the top of the Keltner channel band, we've wound up finding resistance. Okay. Just keep in mind the top of the band right now is in sync here with our orange horizontal line of potential resistance. And we're trading close to the top of that right now. So, I mean, take it for what it is. I'm not saying that, I mean, I mean just take a look at how this looks right now. I wouldn't say that this is the end all be all indicator or anything like that at this point, but the top of the band is right along our horizontal potential resistance point. So just keep that in mind here as well as we are towards the top of that range. So I just wanted to come on here and update you guys with what I'm thinking after this massive green candle has come in. I mean, I'm happy that some volatility is coming back in this market, ladies and gentlemen, because honestly, it's really been like watching paint dry. And the interest in the space has just been on a steady decline. I mean, take a look here at the Google Trends data, search term Bitcoin worldwide data 2004 to present. I mean, we're just still declining right here. August was a 22 right now in September. It's estimating we're at about a 20 for a web search. Just take a look at the YouTube searches, ladies and gentlemen, just a steady, steady decline. I mean, right now there's just no irrational exuberance in the space. It just makes it harder for Bitcoin to go on some type of massive rally when there's really just a declining interest rather than an increasing interest as we've seen throughout the prior bull runs. And of course, we obviously have to keep an eye on what the Federal Reserve is doing with rates, things like the CPI data, inflation, right? Uh, right now, this is a very, very complex market environment. And as I've stated throughout my last several streams, if you are subscribed to this channel, and if you're not subscribed, tick the little bell and select all right now, I've been stating how Bitcoin really has, in my opinion, become a high risk tech stock. We're seeing a massive correlation with the NASDAQ 100. I mean, when the stock market is up, Bitcoin is usually up. When the stock market is down, Bitcoin is usually down. And it never used to be like that back in the day. But now <laughs> the traditional markets, the institutions, they, they have their hands, their dirty paws all over this thing. Okay. It isn't like the Bitcoin of old anymore. Times have changed. Okay. In certain countries, there are ETFs, there are ETNs, there are different types of trusts, there are regulated futures markets, you name it. The traditional market is all over this. Okay. So that's why, in my opinion, we're seeing a correlation here. Institutions, their algorithms play this throughout several different instruments. Uh, just in general, fund managers play this throughout several different instruments. It is what it is. So the correlation, in my opinion, is real. And more than ever, we have to keep our eye on the traditional market and the monetary policies of the world to get a better idea of where Bitcoin could potentially be headed. Um, so I'm going to keep my eye on all of that, folks. 
I will be right now looking for my next potentially life-changing trade setup idea in VIP. If you're not already in my VIP, that is where I post all of my real-time trade setup ideas, entry ideas, potential take profit ideas, everything just like that. If you're not already in there and you'd like to see all of that exclusive content, well, this is basically the format of how I post in there. You can see on the left, I post my trade setup ideas with my additional insights on exactly what I'm thinking at that time and why I'm looking at that trade setup idea in particular. And then on the right are all of the additional updates for that trade setup idea. You could see on the right hand side, took profit, took profit, took profit. When I'm moving my stop loss, I'll wind up posting stuff like this for you to say that it was stopped out. I took a profit on it. You see the idea there, right? So, and of course, this one on your screen is from when I had an absolutely massive short from above 27,000 before the trap door broke and we dropped all the way down to below 20,000. Let's get this crypto, the Don struck gold again. So, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yes, if you're not already in my VIP, today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. And the reason that I'm even saying that right now is because I think it's possible. Now, don't get me wrong. We could actually be forming a bottom here, okay? But if we wind up losing this support range, this whole thing here could wind up being a massive, massive bear flag, okay? And I've already shown you on my last stream that we do have targets potentially down in the 11K region, okay? We also have a Fibonacci retracement number here, ladies and gentlemen. The golden 0.618 is right there in the mid-11,000 range, okay? I mean, you just can't argue this stuff. It's just there in the charts, okay? It doesn't mean that anything has to happen. This is not some type of crystal ball forecast here. But you just have to stay on your toes here because the famous saying goes, only monkeys pick bottoms. You get that, little Jimmy? Only monkeys pick bottoms. So, I mean, to each their own, the thing is right now is that my bias, because of the overall trend, is still bearish. But I am open to the fact that we could start to see things changing here on these longer-term monthly indicators. And if we start to see things moving in a different direction, I'm certainly open to the fact that the bottom could be in, and I'm willing to change my bias as soon as I see fit to potentially crush this market and get this crypto. So ladies and gentlemen, on that note, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, tick the little bell and select all. This is the most must see and most realistic Bitcoin analysis show on YouTube period. Welcome to the channel. If you could give a thumbs up for the video, I would really appreciate the thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for that. And folks, right now, as I just stated, I am looking for my next potentially life-changing trade setup idea right here, right now. Okay, while everybody's sleeping on this Bitcoin action, the Don is looking to potentially strike gold again. So if you're not already in my VIP, seriously, today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Do not miss my next important real-time VIP trade setup idea and alert for the impending action right here in this range. Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. And until next time, the Don has spoken. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs. Oh, and before I forget, don't fall for any of the fake Kirby accounts posting down in the comment section. They create fake accounts with a nearly identical username and logo to mine, then they reply to your comments with phone numbers and email addresses trying to get you to contact them. You can see several examples on your screen right now. Do not contact these people. So here's how you can verify that it's my actual real account. It's very simple. When you're watching a video on my channel, my real account will always have a gray nameplate behind my name. I also have a verified checkmark from YouTube. 
And just to make it even more obvious that it's me, I always leave a creator heart on my comments. Only the channel owner can leave a creator heart. So if you see the heart plus the gray background and the verified check mark, you know that it's me. If you don't see those things, then it's obviously a fake account. It's as simple as that. They're also creating fake accounts over on Telegram now. So if you are ready to become a VIP, do not go on Telegram and search Crypto Kirby or Crypto Kirby VIP. You're going to find all fake results. My group is private. When you search that in the search bar, you're getting public results. They're all fake. They're all imposters. So if you're ready to join VIP, the only way to do so is to click the link either in the pinned comment or in the description of my video. If you search for Crypto Kirby or Crypto Kirby VIP anywhere else, you're going to be getting in contact with a fake. Only use the links in either the pinned comment or the description of my official video. Stay safe and stay smart, my friends. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. Material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational and entertainment purposes and is not to be construed as a recommendation, solicitation, or an offer to buy or sell slash loan or short any securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, or any related financial instruments. Nor should any of its content be taken as investment advice. Crypto Kirby is not a financial advisor. The views expressed in this video are completely speculative opinions and do not guarantee any specific result or profit. Trading and investing is extremely high risk and can result in the loss of all of your capital. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice. Crypto Kirby is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. Crypto Kirby may have an interest in the securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, and or derivatives of any entities referred to in this material. Crypto Kirby accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. Crypto Kirby recommends that you consult with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment or trading decisions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.